Hi engineers, this video is about the React Native Chart Kit library. Using this library, we can create different kinds of graphs in React Native like line chart, progressing, busy line chart, bar chart, pie chart. So we will be looking all of this in this series. So let's get started. I have initialized an empty React Native project and removed all the boilerplate code from this app.tsx and currently it only shows a hello world text so let's go to the github link so let's first install the library we will need two libraries first is this react native chart kit and this react native svg we need the react native svg as it is a peer dependency We'll stop this and do npm i react native chart kit react native svg in this video i will show how to use the bar chart for example we can display the number of lines of code written for each day I will first create a folder src and add a new component barchart.tsx and add it to the app.tsx file this file let's first add some dummy text barchart demo to check if it is linked well I don't need this text. I will import the bar chart. Make sure it is that component that we just created. Now let's start the app. All right, the text is showing here. Now for the bar chart. I will import the bar chart component from react native chart kit. Okay, I am getting a duplicate declaration error. So let's change this file name to bar chart demo. Let's also rename in the component. Let's give it a restart. Now for the data, I will create a new file data.ts where I will put all the data. For this example, I will show in graph the number of lines of code written. So here on the x axis, this will be the day 1, day 2, day 3 up to day 5 and on the y axis the number of lines of code written in each day we will show. So let's create a constant variable var chart data and this data is an object and there is a proper structure to it for that we will be importing a typescript type from react native 
chart kit so we will do react native chart kit then dist inside it helper types and there is this chart data i will assign this as a type to this bar chart now it will show all the missing things the first one is labels now the labels is the array of this x axis labels like day 1 day 2 day 3 so i will create 5 now another key to this bar chart data is data sets which is an array of objects then each object contains some key the primary one is data and in the data this is the y axis corresponding values for example day 1 it is 28 and day 2 it is now we can have multiple data sets but in case of bar chart there will be only single data set now i will import this in here okay now let's start using this bar chart so the primary prop is this data which is this bar chart data and it is showing in error that other props are also missing so this width suppose 200 height is suppose 400 we have this chart config which is a object there are many properties in this chart config i will be showing the primary one suppose this background color gradient from now let's give it yellow another one is background color gradient from opacity one i will be showing it what are the meaning of these props uh, when we actually display the graph now similar to this background color gradient from there is a background color gradient to this is suppose light green and the color is suppose red and the bar percentage One. some other props are missing which is y axis label and y axis suffix so y axis label suppose we gave it empty and y axis suffix that is also empty okay now let's see how the graph is looking i will give it a restart so this is how our graph is currently looking it is a bit congested here like we can modify the width here suppose i can give 500 to make this width responsive on the mobile screen i will use the use window dimensions and take out the width then add it to this width now it is looking good let's discuss the props that we used this data is the data which is this labels and data sets so this day 1 day 2 and day 3 are coming on the x axis and this data is on the y axis now this y axis label is if something that we want to append to this data suppose we type here x axis so this x axis is being appended to this generally we will keep it empty y axis suffix is the suffix for this each of these data points so we can use here y axis it is appended but we will also keep it empty width is this width height is this height chart config is it has two colors background color gradient from and background gradient to 
now background gradient from is this bottom left corner background gradient to is to this top right corner see it is going from yellow to light green now if suppose this opacity that we want is 0 0.5 see the opacity is being reduced here so the there is a gradual sh shift of gradient now the color is this color of these labels like day day one day two and also this bar this bar percentage is one so it will take the full width of the bar that is assigned to it i can make it 0. Point, suppose 6 to reduce it so these are some of the mandatory props that we have to provide now let's see some extra props that we can add first is this style prop we can add a border width or border color to this graph let's add some border color so this will be style border color of suppose black and border width of one see there is a border width another prop is with inner lines suppose we don't want, want this dotted lines so we can use the with inner lines and by default it is true i will set it to false see all these lines have gone suppose we want to rotate these x axis levels like day one day two day three so i can use another prop vertical label rotation so i will give it the degree to rotate so 50 it has been rotated we can also add the horizontal label rotation see it has been rotated now suppose we can show these values of each data point on top of this bar show value on top on top of bars see 28 45 60 70 and 30 another prop that we can use is suppose if i make this uh, bar percentage to 0 0.6 there is this red colored bar on each bar top i can remove this with this so bar tops to false see now it is smooth now suppose i don't want to show these x axis labels and y axis labels so i can use with horizontal or vertical labels i can show false and this will remove this x axis for this with vertical and for horizontal there will be with horizontal labels let's revert this one last customization that we can do is we can change this bar rectangle color for each bar by default it will pick this red colored color that we give in this chart config if you want our own color for each bar suppose for all other bars we wanted it to be green but for the middle one we want it to be gray so for that we have to add a new colors prop to this data set this colors is an array of objects which will give us the color corresponding to each data point now this is not just a single object it is a function which returns a color so i can give it suppose green now what this function takes is the opacity suppose i can give a rgba color suppose 255 255 50 and then this opacity we can make a opacity suppose 1 and add it in here but for this example i will just use a hard coded color green and i will copy this for all except this 70 Now make sure that we will provide same number of colors as the number of data points.
now for the 70 i will do light gray now this does not make any change because we have to also add a new prop we have to add this with custom color from data see so except the 70 it is rest color green suppose i want this color to be solid i will add flat color to be true now it is solid let's remove this rotation so that it looks good cool so that's it for this video if you like this video please like and subscribe to this channel